In this video, I'm going to share a tip for how to differentiate your service when people are doing things on their own. Customers are buying on their own, they're processing transactions on their own. So then the question becomes how to differentiate your service. I'm Jeff Mowat. For over 30 years, companies have brought me in to provide customer service training for their teams. And when it comes to customer buying behaviors, we're seeing a major shift. In the olden days, customers used to pull up to a, a pump to get their, their vehicles fueled up. And in the olden days, I don't know if you remember this or not, but in the olden days of not using self-serve, you pull up to the pumps, humans would emerge from a little building. They'd fuel up your vehicle for you, they'd change the oil, they'd do the windows, but now, who does the, the work now? Well, I, I was saying this at a seminar and one guy from the audience yells out, the wife. Windows. I suspect this guy probably had a squeegee that he had to have surgically removed at some point. But of course, now what we're finding is that customers are doing the work themselves. We're doing self-serve. We do self-serve banking. We, if we're making travel arrangements, we're doing it ourselves. And customers are feeling very comfortable doing that. So then the question becomes, okay, well, how do you differentiate your service when customers are used to processing their own transactions? And I think what it comes down to is that for simple purchases, go ahead and let customers do it on their own. But for more complex purchases, especially for business-to-business -to -business type purchases, that's when customers need help. And so the question is, how do we help them? Well, helping them does not mean providing them with lots of information. Customers can get their own information. They get it for free. They're carrying it on their devices and they can get it in an instant, thousands of pages of a Google search. Too much information does not help customers. So the question is, well, then what can make your service stand out when customers have so many choices out there and they can do it by themselves? Well, I believe the answer comes down to aid. It's an acronym I came up with. It stands for A, analysis, analyzing all the options that are available for that customer. And then I, interpreting all those options based on the customer's unique needs. And then finally, D, directing those customers to a maximum of three choices. And what that does is it takes us from the position of being a, an order taker or a transaction processor to instead being seen as a trusted advisor. And for that, customers will pay a premium. There's too many choices out there. Frankly, we're competing with everybody else on the planet who has a website. So our main role becomes analyze, interpret, and direct. And now you're seen as being somebody who's providing value added service. Well, I hope you find that to be helpful. And if you like this video, you're gonna love my tips. You'll find them for free at Jeff's businesstips.com. See you next time.